Welcome to OMC. Today I'm going to be showing you around this uh, really lovely ST line 1 litre EcoBoost 125 PS Puma. This is a new generation car from Ford. As you can see, it's got the signature headlights, which are the daytime running lights. It's also got the uh, cornering fog lights. It's got a heated front screen. It's got the diamond cut alloys, which are in fantastic condition. Also got the power folding mirrors on this ST line. Coming through to the rear of the vehicle. We've got storage nets on the backs of the seats. We've got Isofix seating. We've got um, red stitching all around on the uh, seats and on the address. We've got three full address, three full seat belts. As I mentioned before, Isofix, so that child safety is really important. Also got the uh, rear electric windows. Coming around to this side, we've got the easy fuel system. Car will run on the E5 or E10, so no problems there for the future. We've also got rear port sensors and across the back in four places. Stylish looking car with great vision. I do have one of these myself and uh, it's a fabulous car to drive. EcoBoost Hybrid, one litre as you're aware. Open the boot, we've got a uh, 12 volt charge point there, got a flexible parcel shelf, also got 60 40 split on the seating. At the moment, you'll see it's quite a narrow boot, uh, but it is as flexible as being able to do that. And now you've got a really big boot. Beyond that, we've also got the Mega Box, which as you can see is extremely deep. Under there, under that little piece there, you've also got a plug. So if you washed your boots off in there, if you've been hiking or something, you could just wash the uh, little mega box out. Great item for uh, carrying stuff around and hiding all your personal possessions under there as well. So again, LED lights on the back. Coming to the rear, we've got the rear spoiler, beasting uh, aerial. Lovely design feature there on the side, just breaks it up nice and uh, easy. Coming to the driver's door, we've got electric windows all round, ball folding men mirrors which I mentioned before. We've also got electric mirrors, uh, lockable facility on the door, we've got the ST line scuff plates, alloy pedals for that sporty vision, auto lights, auto wipers, flat bottom steering wheel for a sporty design with the, again, the contrasting red stitching. This side we've got the onboard computer and the voice control Bluetooth. On the opposite side we've got the radio controls and cruise control and speed limiter. When we get into the car in a second, I'll show you some of the features. Obviously, going around the car, seats are all lovely. Uh, height adjustment on the seats as well. So what I'll do now, I'll jump into the vehicle and uh, we'll tell you a little bit more. Thanks very much. So here we are inside the cabin uh, with the Puma display on there. So what I'll do now, I shall just uh, go down to this point here, which is the start button. Press the start button and the dashboard comes to life. So basically what we've got just here, we've got lane keeping aid. So again, I'll show you from this side. So if you're gonna nod off, uh, what will happen if you go across a lane and you haven't indicated, warning light will come onto the dashboard and the steering wheel will kick ever so slightly. Coming through the car, we've got the central console with storage area underneath. Cup holders with the ambient lighting. Again, red stitching going through and again around the gear lever. USB charger point here, but this car's also fitted with the wireless charger point as well. 12 volt charger point, heated front screen, heated rear screen. And then uh, we come up to the top of the uh, unit here. This unit, as you can probably see, uh, is all touch screen. Uh, just flipping back over to the, the uh, dashboard for a second, you can see the hybrid gauge there. So when you power down, it will go to the right hand side, which is showing the turbo is being used. As you ease off or brake, it'll go to the left hand side, which is a battery. Uh, and then it will, will charge from that point. Always shows you the speed limit of the area you're in as well at the bottom. Um, you don't have to plug it in, you don't have to do anything with the car at all. It just does it all itself. 
uh, as I mentioned before, really, really good design, really good uh, car to drive, and extremely economical. So coming down to the system here, got touch screen navigation, you can stream your music if you've got Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can set it into 3D mode. Uh, we can set it up. Uh, let's see if it's been set up. But uh, I don't think for one second this one will be. Uh, I'm tending to find a lot of this at the moment. So even though it's hybrid, you don't have to plug it in. So you don't need the electric charging stations or anything. And then if we just go back again set it into this one and we'll see no i didn't think so so again this one will pick up speed cameras uh, it will give you an audible warning and show you on the map it also picks up the little yellow boxes on the motorway which are the new design as well until the police actually catch up with that one and work out how to do it just down here we've got three buttons so you've got auto stop start guess what it says it on the tin it does it automatically traction control which you can turn off should you wish to do so and then you've got this button which is different driving modes so what i'm going to do in a second i'm going to press that button and show you on the dashboard exactly what it does so i press it once and so that's your normal mode your eco mode your sports mode and again each one will show you different design to your dashboard like that one then from the sports mode we've got the slippy mode so ice and snow and then trail mode for mud and shale as you can see and then back it is as easy to swap it over as i've just done uh, happens in seconds fantastic thing again i'll select reverse and there you go that's your rear park pilot so up here that will be green then amber and then red past the red if it makes a weird noise means you've gone too far and uh, you've actually hit something and again it shows you in the center of the dashboard as well what I'll do now is uh, I'll just run through some of the spec again and then I'll go around the car again for you. So this is a Puma ST Line 1 litre hybrid MF. So we've got a 2070 plate. The car's done 17,144 miles from new. It's had one private owner from new, full service history, full digital 12.3 dash, Ford Sync 3 navigation, ST Line's uh, full body styling kit. Ford Mega Box with ex that gives it extended boot space, 8 inch colour touchscreen, 17 inch diamond cut alloy wheels, and the car is also fitted with an alarm and a mobiliser, a standard. Fantastic, um, great car, as I said. Has the self charging on or the wireless charging, and you can stream music from your phone directly to that unit without any plugins. Brilliant, thanks for looking, and I look forward to seeing you down in Accrington. Please have a look at our uh, reviews on the Autostrader website. Uh, we don't get five stars for nothing. We are very, very proud of what we do. And uh, with that in mind, you're spending uh, a lot of your personal money. And what we want customers to do is to be happy when they drive away and think that was a very, very good experience. So thanks for looking and uh, hopefully I look forward to seeing you down in Accrington soon. Bye for now.